Neil, a scrappy game, but a point at the end of it. What are your thoughts on the match? Yeah, as you say, a uh, point at the end of it. I could, I could spend time going through through the mistakes in the game and uh, the things that we didn't do. But I think on, on this occasion, we, we, we'll have to take the positive, which is that we've got back into a game that we looked like we were losing and that the players have kept going and not dropped their heads when they were facing a difficult second half. I was about to say, the team showed great character, falling behind twice in a real, in a, in a tough match, but they've, they've pulled it back. What message does that send to you about the team and their spirit? Well, I think if you're in a you know, fight at the wrong end of the table, you've got to show some fight and you've got to have the players have got to be prepared to fight because you're gonna, things are not going to gonna flow smoothly. And uh, every game is going to be a battle from now to the end of the season. So they've shown that they'll, they will keep battling. But uh, we can't concede the, the title goals we conceded today and expect to win games because, you know, if you certainly the second goal, if you pick through all the faults in that one goal, there's about six six mistakes and six people you could point the finger to before it's end up in the net. So, you know, we've got to defend better to give ourselves a platform to try and win the game. Mentally, it's always tough going behind right before the half-time whistle. What was the message to the players at half-time? The message is always the same, really, in the fact that um, you know you must make sure you don't concede it again, or then you've really got a big problem. And you hope that if they keep playing, that uh, they will get a break in front of goal. But um, I think um, I had to make a couple of changes to try and and freshen things up. And um, sometimes they they work, um, sometimes they don't. But uh, we had to try and do something different in the second half. And uh, like I said. It justifies it when you get a result, but um, obviously we, we know we need to start winning games. You mentioned the changes there. You made two at half-time, one being Anton Forrest there. How impressed were you with his performance in the second half? He seemed to add a slight new dimension to uh, to the play. Well, uh, Anton, you'd have to say he's not everybody's cup of tea. Um, he's been in, in and out of the team and he's had a frustrating time with, with injuries. But um, he has got ability. He's got some really good qualities. We're desperate for him to do well and show those qualities. And uh, all he can do is, when he gets a chance, he's got to take it. But I was happy with the way he played in the second half. He held the ball up, which is something we weren't doing in the first half. And like I say, if he if he does that and he works hard, then he he'll be a player that that can figure, you know, in the in the second half of the season. And just finally, Dave Worrell, you mentioned before that he's he needs to have more goals to his game. He's got two today. How impressed were you with his performance there? Well, David Worrell, um, he's got a lot of good qualities and the only criticism I would probably put at him is that end product, you know, um, gets into some good positions but needs to score more goals and today he's obviously come up with two goals which has been invaluable and, um, you know, he's done really well today but, but if he can chip in with goals that's going to be a big part in the second half of the season. We, we need more players to score goals, especially from the area where he plays and in those areas. And um, really pleased for him today because he's, um, they say, works hard. And you like to think that if you work hard, you get your results. Thanks, Neil.